Hey guys, welcome to chapter two. Uh, in this chapter, we're pretty much going to be setting everything up. We're going to get our development environment going, um, install PrestaShop. But the first thing I want to do is to, to run PrestaShop, uh, there's some requirements. You have to have a server that has PHP uh, as well as MySQL database and an Apache server. I'm not sure. I think you can run it on, on Microsoft um, IIS or some other servers, but the recommended server is Apache. So we don't have a web server, um, but what we can do is use a program called XAMPP, X-A-M-P-P. -P. Uh, and what that does is it gives us the ability to, to run an Apache server with PHP and with MySQL all on our local desktop, on our local machine. Um, I'm using Windows 7. This screen that you see now, uh, I actually have Windows open in a virtual machine. So this is actually a virtual machine. It's not my physical um, desktop. And I did that because my real machine, my physical operating system already has all this stuff installed. So I just wanted to, to start fresh and um, so you could go along and get it installed uh, with me. So we want to go to an Internet Explorer I haven't used in a very long time, but I actually just set this virtual machine up so there's no, there's no um, software or anything, it's just stock. So we want to go to, I believe it's ApacheFriends.org. Or not. Yep, okay, so ApacheFriends.org. And, and I'm assuming you're on Windows. Uh, if you're on Windows, you, well, no matter what you're using, first you want to click here on XAMPP. And you want to find the version you want to install. You have the Mac OS X. Sorry about that, guys. One second, let this update. So if you have, if you're using a Mac, uh, there's Linux, Solaris, there's uh, a couple different versions. If you're using Windows, you want to click right here. Zamp for Windows. And if you scroll down, uh, you want to click the first download link right here. And we want to install, I mean, we want to download the installer. And this is version 1.81. Depending on when you're watching this, the version could be different. Okay, download file. I hate Internet Explorer. <laughs> All right, so I, it looks like it's downloaded. Uh, let me go to. So now it's asking if we want to run or save it. I'm going to click Run. So this will install. I mean, this will run the installer for our XAMPP. Almost done. All right, so we want to click yes. So we get this warning about user access control. Um, it says that some functions of XAMPP could possibly be restricted. Uh, and you don't have to turn the UAC off. I don't use it anyways. I'm actually gonna turn it off on this system, so I'll show you how to do that anyway. I uh, go to control panel, and we wanna go to um, I think we want to go to system and security. 
um, and we want to go to change user acts account control settings and I'm gonna turn it all the way down and this will stop Windows from doing that um, pop-up every time you open a program this this will stop now so those pop-ups won't happen anymore so I'll click OK and now the XAMPP installer will start I just want to go through uh, and you can see here what it what it includes MySQL uh, it even includes a FileZilla server which we won't be using um, PHP my admin is a tool to manage your databases uh, and it also installs PHP and Perl and I'm just going to keep the default on the C drive Okay. Click next. So I don't know uh, how familiar you are with hosting, um, with it with shared hosting accounts, but it's pretty much the same thing. It gives you an HT Docs folder, and that folder is where you, you can put your files for your website, or well, it, but it'll only be local. Um, it won't be accessible through the internet and to access it you should be able to go to localhost in your browser this virtual machine I have doesn't have very much memory so um, things move a little bit slower than if we were on my actual physical operating system. All right, so it's finished installing now it's asking if we want to start up the control panel I'm going to keep it checked and click finish alright so this is the control panel uh, from here we can start and stop our services we, the Apache service and the MySQL service um, in order to use PrestaShop we need to have both of these these services started I'm actually going to click these X's to have them start on their own uh, when Windows starts up. So I'm going to just click X and it says it, click yes to install Apache service. Click yes. And you might get this firewall pop up. I'm just going to say allow access and do the same for MySQL. So now they're both started up their services, which means that they'll run automatically when you start Windows and you can start and stop right here with these buttons so I'm going to start up the services now one thing I want to mention is if you have Skype on the computer that you just installed XAMPP on um, sometimes they can be conflict they can conflict so uh, I would definitely recommend shutting down Skype totally before you install this because uh, they can they both work off port 80 which is the HTTP port on your um, on your network card so uh, just shut it down so now everything's started up now to access our XAMPP server in the browser you want to go to localhost and by default, when you install XAMPP, localhost redirects to localhost slash XAMPP. And it just has this um, splash page. And yes. So we want to click English or whatever language you use. And this is the XAMPP panel. Uh, you can do a few things from here. You can check out your PHP info. We have uh, the latest, which is version 5.5. Four seven, uh, and just all the information about the PHP on your system, all kinds of configurations and um, settings. 
Uh, what else do we got here? We can view the info on Perl. We're not going to be using Perl, but you can see there's a lot of settings for that as well. Um, the first thing I want to do is by default, uh, your MySQL database doesn't have a password. The username is root, but it doesn't have a password, and we want to set that. So we can do that from here if we go to security. Wow, this, this virtual machine is pretty slow. All right, so we can see right here where it says the MySQL admin user root has no password. We want to change that. Uh, we can change it by going to this link. And we don't need the HT access directory protection. Uh, we don't need that. But we can put a password in for root. So just choose a password of your liking. All right, so now we have a password. So we have a password for MySQL and PHP my admin. Now I want to show you where you should go to upload your web files, your website files. Uh, and this is where we'll be installing PrestaShop as well. So I'm going to go in the C drive and then the XAMPP directory and htdocs. And this is equivalent to your web server's www directory or public HTML. Um, and some hosting companies even use htdocs. So this is the live uh, website files, live on your computer. The, nothing you do on XAMPP is going to be accessed through the internet, only on your local machine or your local network. So how we get to this folder is, is localhost. But you can see if we go to localhost, it redirects us to the XAMPP folder, which is right here. All these files is what makes this, this panel. Uh, we don't need it. We can actually delete it if we want, if we want to use the root of localhost, but we're not going to do that. Uh, we're just going to, we're going to install our PrestaShop in a folder called store. And we can even put a simple index.html file in there just to make sure that it's working. And if we want to open that, uh, and we'll just say um, this is the, the store root. Save that. So now if we go to localhost slash store, uh, oh, I'm sorry, it still has the txt extension. Uh, I'm not sure why that happens. That's odd. Usually you can change the extension. So usually this would work. Uh, you would be able to change the extension and get rid of that TXT. I'm not sure why it's not, but what I'm going to try is just to, to make Windows show the extension. So I'm going to go to um, Control Panel and then Appearance and Personalization. Um, let's see. Let's click on Folder Options and view and let's see we're going to uncheck this right here it says hide extensions for known file types so let's uncheck that and click apply and then save all that and now we can see the extension so now we can get rid of it that's the first time that's ever happened to me usually it'll just change the extension to html Anyway, so now if we go to localhost slash store, we now can see the index page, which is which says this is the store root. Now that's no big deal. You can view an HTML file in any folder on your computer. Uh, what XAMPP allows us to do is to use PHP files and just other dynamic. Um, extensions for our web pages 
uh, so it's very powerful you can't just open a PHP file on your local machine uh, you need an Apache server so that's what what this is for so now we have our environment pretty much set up uh, we're going to be building in this store directory um, so that's it for this video and in the next video we'll start to look at PrestaShop and try to get it installed and configured